I win TV. See what others can't. Welcome to the November 4th, 2017 edition of the weekly investment news show. I win TV, where you win, because we use algorithms, not people, to select stocks and manage risks in the markets. We're the robots you can trust. Why watch the talking heads on TV, who might have a hidden agenda when algorithms have been shown to make better decisions? Get those old voices out of your head and start watching iWin TV to get better results from your investments. Today we're going to cover stock selection followed by risk in the equity markets and interest rate risk. Then we'll have a brief discussion of the current value of Bitcoin. Past performance is not an indication of future performance. Please pause this video and read the disclaimer. As you can see there are currently 50 stocks in the portfolio with 80% winners and 20% losers. The average winning return is 40% with the best stock NVIDIA, returning 642% since it came into the portfolio two years ago. The average loss is 7% with the worst stock, communications equipment company Nokia losing 24% since it was purchased about three months ago. Here are the recent buys and sells. This week the natural selection algorithms bought and sold five stocks. They bought the drug company ABV, the aerospace and defense company Rockwell Collins, the residential construction company DR Horton, the personal products company Estee Lauder, and the security software company FireEye. The five companies sold were, the semiconductor company AMD which was one of the best performing stocks in the portfolio over the past two years returning 360%. The CATV systems company Charter Communications, the gold mining company Canross Gold Corporation, the security software company Symantec, and the industrial metals and minerals company Avail which was also a good performer returning 138% since it came into the portfolio over a year and a half ago. So now for a read of the equity markets. The risk in the equity markets improved slightly this week. The risk level of the Dow Jones Industrial Average improved from low risk to very low risk while the S&P 500 remained flat at low risk. The risk level of both the Nasdaq 100 and Russell 2000 remained flat at moderate risk. And now let's talk about the current interest rate environment. Our measurement of interest rate risk remained flat at moderate this week. This indicates a slight risk of increasing rates. Your government treasuries should be partially hedged or in intermediate durations. We will keep an eye on this evolving situation for you. This week Bitcoin crossed the $7,000 per coin threshold for the first time. Many are speculating Bitcoin is in the bubble, but it is clear to us there is no bubble. When we look at the daily US dollar transaction value of goods and services, our measurement shows the price of Bitcoin continues to pretty much track the underlying transaction values. This reflects a healthy relationship between the price of Bitcoin and the US dollar value of goods and services being transacted using Bitcoin. Until next week, we'll be watching the markets for you to bring you the latest opportunities and risks. Please subscribe to get better results from your investments. Thank you for watching. I win TV. See what others can't.